Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are Amish sugar cookies. I uh, got this recipe from a friend, and when I tasted them, well, they were fantastic. Uh, the texture on these sugar cookies, well, I'll explain as we go along. Uh, if you're looking for a more traditional uh, sugar uh, cookie, I have uh, several on my uh, channel, so please check it out uh, You know, if you want to use a cookie cutter and that kind of thing. Um, but let's, uh, let's start. What we're going to first off, we're going to be using is a cup of butter. Now if you don't have butter, don't want to use butter, you can use margarine. I went ahead, I cut it up into small pieces and it's been sitting at room temperature. And um, you are going to need either a stand-up or a hand mixer for this. And I'm going to quickly break up and cream the butter. You're also going to be putting in one cup of oil. Now it's going to be up to you of what type of oil that you prefer. I'm putting, but I'm putting in one cup of oil. raise my speed to medium. Okay. The next thing that you're going to be putting in is one cup of granulated sugar. And I'm going to put a little at a time as I beat the butter and the oil together. What you're going to be putting in is one cup of powdered sugar and I really think this is what makes the cookies so light and so delicate. They really come out so nice. That was one cup of powdered sugar and we'll beat that together. And I'm going to raise my speed. Alright, the next thing that we're going to be putting in is eggs. And you're going to need two eggs, and I've also had them at room temperature. And I'm going to put one in at a time, get it well beaten in there, and mix, and then add the second one. And then I'm going to raise my speed. The next thing that we're going to be putting in is vanilla. I'm going to put one teaspoon of vanilla in. Now, I will tell you that you do want to beat this long enough that it becomes um, very light, very fluffy in texture. Uh, it'll be a pale yellow color. Uh, it'll almost look like it's frosting. Uh, and that, that can take you uh, a little bit of time. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it might take you two minutes, it might take you three minutes, but you do want to wait till it becomes, like I said, uh, you know, very lightweight uh, and, and fluffy. And the longer you beat it, you're going to get that consistency. Okay. Why well, that's continuing to beat, I hope you can hear me. Okay. You're going to need flour, and you're going to need four and a half cups of flour. And I did go ahead and I sifted it. And I believe it also makes the cookie very light in texture if you sift your flour on this recipe. And that, again, that was four and a half cups. We're also going to be putting in one teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to be putting in one teaspoon of cream of tartar and also the cream of tartar is going to make that cookie very light and very airy and that was one teaspoon and then i'm just going to just stir this just a little bit in with a spoon and then i'm going to raise my speed on the uh, cream mixture here going to get a little loud, so if you've got headphones on, you might want to turn them down. Okay, let's see what we have 
have so far. I want to get to the sides of this mixing bowl and the bottom. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but again, very light in texture. And I'm just going to have and beat it just for a little bit more. Okay. Now while I'm doing that, I do want to tell you I got about, um, I think it was 48, um, 48 cookies out of this recipe. Uh, now I'm going to be using my small scoop, uh, but of course if you want to use a teaspoon, you're going to get, well, you're going to get more cookies out of this recipe. But I use the small scoop and I got about 48 cookies out of it. And um, again, I'm going to raise the speed a little bit here. I still want it a little bit fluffier. You're also going to need your cookie sheet or pan and you do need to grease it. Even though you have all that butter and oil, these cookies will uh, stick. So you do want to you do want to grease your pan. Again, I'm going to raise that speed. I'll warn you about the uh, sound. Okay. And let's give a look here. All right, and that's looking pretty good. All right, now we're going to start putting the dry, of course, with the wet. And we're going to do that slowly so flour doesn't go all over. This you don't want to beat too long. You just want to wait till it's all combined nicely. Okay. And that's the rest of the dry. Now I'm going to raise my speed just a little bit. As I talked about, it really light. It almost, it's peaking like it would be a, um, a, uh, a, a frosting. Okay. All right. Then, of course, what you're going to do is these cookies are going to spread. So you're going to have to put them at least about three inches apart because they will, like I said, they're going to spread on you. So I usually on um, put only uh, six of them down when I'm, you know, using the size of a scoop on them. Now you're going to bake them at 375 degrees, and they're going to take you um, about eight to ten minutes, depending. Now to make them a sugar cookie, you can use your granulated sugar or coarse uh, sugar or any type of color. I'm using. Uh, orange here and you need a flat bottom glass and then just dip your glass into the uh, sugar and then just lightly press them down. You don't want to press them too hard because the cookie then will um, bake up really flat. Now if you like a flatter cookie or you want to put ice cream between them or something then push the glass down uh, and thin these cookies out. But if you wanted to have a, you know, a little bit of a thicker cookie, just lightly, uh, just lightly press it uh, with your glass with the, uh, with the sugar. Okay. So again, 375, eight to 10 minutes. When they do come out of the oven, make sure to put them, uh, after they sit on the pan for just a minute or two, uh, put them on a uh, cooling rack. Now I have some to show you what they look like and this is how they turn out. Um, you will get a brown edge to the cookies when they're showing that they are done. A very light golden brown as you can see on the bottom, okay? And this is the part that really is remarkable. 
when you break into the cookie, they are so light and so airy. They almost taste like they, they melt in your mouth. That's how delicate, and I don't know if you can see how easily they break up in my hands. That's the texture, how light and good these cookies come out. They really come out delicious. Well, there you have it. If you like this recipe, leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Diane Love to Bake. See you soon.